Podcast, episode 94, live and direct from Toronto, Ontario. It's your guy, Tyrell. So much stuff to break into. New champions, new people that need to get sacked. So much going on, but where are we going? Where are we beginning? Where do we start? You tell me. King Power? <laughs> really? <laughs> we had the two best teams in the world play. We're going to go to King Power? Wait, you want to start? Okay, let's let's start with... The- I'm going to stop. I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I thought you want to. I think you want to build into it. Yo, mm-hmm. honestly, fam. I, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna stop asking you where we go first, because <laughs> you, uh, the worst. Why would we go there? Well, I, I thought you want to build it up slowly. No, not really. Okay. Uh, so let's, let's get to the meat and potatoes. All right, let's go to. Tire race is over. L- what? <laughs> let's go to Mercy's side. It's not. I didn't hear what the, I didn't hear what the English media was saying, so I don't know what they what they kind of masked it so, as. So Jose kind of tried to like allude to it. Yeah, let's start with let's start with the the controversy or lack thereof controversy. I I, I don't think Pep was furious. Uh, did you feel did did you? I thought the first one was a handball. To hit, I, I thought the second one that he wants is is not a handball. What was the second one, by the way? Where he fired it into Alexander Arnold. Oh, in the second half. Yeah. Um, if that's a handball, that you can, there's no more defending in in football. That, I mean, look, and that's saying it as a former defender. But that's what I was telling you guys from the get go when all this BS started. Yeah. Um, the f- I have no problems with them calling no pe- penalty on either okay. either or, and that's because um, the first one I can understand what they're trying to say based off the fact that it hit off Bernardo's hand first. Yeah. Was that the defense? I think that was the defense that they were trying to make for it. Right. Was that it hit off Bernardo's hand, then it hit off Alexander Arnold's hand, yeah. and then it went forward. So it's like, are they penalizing Bernardo f- first, and then they let the play go on? Right. Because it's like, I don't know how the rules work verbatim, but yeah. hit his hand, he was going towards goal. Yeah, and Plays then that, the, then they score off that too, right? Yeah. It's all in the same. Yeah, so I, I understand why Pep's furious in the sense of it, because if you're the manager and you see that, you're going to obviously have a gripe for it. But like, I had no problem with the referee not calling it. So he, here's the here's the other thing, and I don't I know we don't like to talk about this, but... Let's say that it is a handball. Yeah. They score. So now what do you do? You chalk off the goal and you give a penalty shot on the other way? I feel like that's what would happen. Like like but what I'm saying is why not blow the play dead? Like the like it wasn't that like there was a handball yeah. and then it was like Allison picked it up. It was like a long punt downfield. Like there was a build up play to yeah. that. Right? That's where my gripe comes in with VAR, right? Yeah. Kill the play dead. Yeah. If you truly think it's a handball, kill it dead at, at half, right? Yeah. Go check it and say, like, okay, it wasn't a handball. Okay. Well, well they could have killed it for the Bernardo handball, too, right? But, but that's what I'm saying, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, like, because I watched that play develop and, my, and uh, I was there with a friend and he's like, wouldn't this be funny if it turned into a goal? Lo, lo and behold, right? It turns into, it turns into a goal. And, and now you're thinking, well, what are they going to do? If it was truly like, let's say it was a clear and obvious handball. Yeah, let's say it didn't hit off Bernardo's hand and, yeah, it, hit say, off, and it hit off yeah, Alexander Arms. Right? He, the referee missed it for whatever. He was blind, whatever. He d- couldn't see it and, and, and whatnot. Now you're going to chalk off a goal on the other end to give a PK on the other side. Right? You know, I, that's, that's where th- I'm all for VAR. Um, but I feel that in this case, if you're going to use it efficiently, you got to kill it dead. Yeah. Um, on the game itself, I thought... Um, I thought Liverpool were very efficient. I didn't think they created too many chances, um, but the chances that they created, they scored. They had three. I think they had four chances at max. They scored three out of them. Um, what um, Salah's f- goal was quite nice off the header. Uh, bounces nicely for him. Finishes that nicely. It's a great goal. Um, uh, who scored the first one, Fabinho? Yeah. I don't think uh, Ederson saves that either. To be honest. That's, uh, that's a rocket of a shot that's 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 almost right near the post. Yeah, they they, sh- they messed up there and they should have closed down. The first, the f- second goal was really interesting because based off the fact that Alexander Arnold caught Bernardo, <laughs> I don't think anyone expects him to make that cross field pass. Yeah, because Bernardo was ready to step to Van Dyke, and I was like, right. oh shit, <laughs> he, yeah. he caught him with it, sent um, Robertson forward, and right there, just the ball. That's Robertson's pass. Yeah, yeah, that, that cutting pass yeah, behind. That, that's like his pass. And um, all three of them are breaking in. And people were trying to blame Fernandinho for poor defending. Yeah. Was the ball is just so much better than the defending. Yeah. Like it outweighs it. It just kills everything. And yeah. then the finish was just as good because that's not an easy finish. No. 
and because uh, it bounces up on him quick. Yeah, and the odd thing about that was that I don't think they really started the game well. No, they Liverpool. Didn't. No, no, it was all City. And even though it was two nothing for long spells, like it kind of it didn't really feel like a two nothing game. No, because City were right in there. Yeah, and even when it was three, and then Raheem started killing Alexander Arnold and Mane down that left yeah. hand side. Yeah, it's kind of like wow, like they're they're not really dead. It no. was, you only felt that way like once it was kind of approaching like, you know, three minutes, four minutes yeah, yeah, left. Yeah. yeah. Because Bernardo scored after. Right. And then you're thinking, okay, well, here we go. People, some people had issues with the shape, with the personnel. The bench, the bench was strong. Yeah. And he only made one sub. Yep. Which was kind of odd. But like he did, he did revert to caution because he went with Rodri and yes, he went with Gundogan. Yeah. And then he had um, De Bruyne higher. Right. And, um, he didn't play very well, by the way. Or just well, he didn't play well. Nope. Aguero didn't play well. Nope. Bernardo didn't play well. No, nope. really, only one city player kind of showed up, which was Raheem. Raheem, yeah. and I don't understand why Angelino played, and he has Cancelo on the bench. I, that was my that was gonna that was my surprise. It, there was a lot of um, I saw there was a couple times where Walker and and Stones were were Going, drawing at each yeah. other. Uh, it was a very um, I, I can't even think of the, the the correct word. I almost felt like City were on edge. You know, they were they were um, tight, yeah. uh, getting mad. Like you don't see that happen very much with with Pep's teams. They were they were maybe rattled, um, going two nothing down uh, early. Yeah, um, it's one of those things where you know. I had a friend bet on it. I won't say his name, and I was like, "Why would you bet on it? I don't." City hasn't beaten Liverpool at Anfield. I think the stat was like 2003. Yeah. And like since Guardiola's been there, it's always been a difficult place for them to go. Big Sam was the last person to win there. Yeah, that feel. Yeah. yeah. Remember I brought that up last week? Yeah. Those four managers that like were like, whoa. Yeah. yeah. And it's like even that wasn't even the worst seed defeat of recent memory. Like I remember the time where I think Pellegrini was a manager. They got like destroyed like yeah. 5-1, 5-1. Yeah. At, the, at the ad. So like that doesn't surprise me. And I, I know I brought it back a few weeks ago where I was like, oh, well, what if City takes six points from them? City, the reason why, regardless of this result right now, and their gap is nine points, there's two factors that come into play as to why it's kind of like, uh, you could write them off at your own peril, peril. peril or peril. You, you could really look at it and be like, oh, shit, this could be done, is the fact that Liverpool's December, or the yeah. next two months for Liverpool, starting with their game at Palace. But can you, can sorry, go ahead. Start, starting with that game at Palace, they're playing a game every three days for like the next two months. Do you know that they have two games in one day? Yeah, the the capital the the club Car- world, the, world cup yeah and the, capital- the Car- and the Carabao Cup yeah yeah. So well, so what do you do? You play a squid, split squad? They may they may do what they they may play the squad that they played against Arsenal. Oh, okay, you know. Oh okay. Oh I see. I see. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So like you have to look at that. They're playing so many games. The travel, Salah's ankles. Yeah. Like there's so many. He's not f- playing this in the international. Yeah, break, which no. kind of makes sense if it's not that important. I could see why. Right. They would be like, okay, let's give him some rest. Yeah. But all those games that do come into play, I don't know what shape they're gonna be in. Come the other side. Come of Come January. Right. And that is a big factor because when you look at the two squads that were playing that on that day. It's like Liverpool were the more stable side. Right. We knew the eleven that we're gonna get. Yeah, that's probably their besides whoever plays with Van Dyke. That's their best eleven in the big games. Yes, he goes with is. he goes with that eleven. Whereas for City, it's a makeshift back four. Yep. Regardless of the injuries, it's a makeshift back four. Yep. Um, he did go with Aguero. Yep. And um, just the shape. It was it's a shape that that's been different. Is is this a game where you say they really missed Laporte? Uh, is this one of those like that? I, I I mean that could be the narrative that we go with, but I also look at the fact that I only had them really getting a point out of it, at best. Right. Like if you ask me last week, I'm I'm not gonna be there and be like, yeah, City's gonna beat them at no, no, field. No. Like that's a that's a big ask, and I've I've said on it on, and they've actually defended that one statement that they don't really lose there. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like for I didn't expect City to go there and beat them. Right. But yeah, you could say they miss Laporte. You is, could is, say is that gonna be a narrative come those bigger Champions League games if, if he's not back? If they don't win anything this season, let alone if they don't win the league, the easy scapegoat for a lot of people to to use will be oh well Laporte got hurt. Right. And they didn't buy a center back. Um but I, I can't use that. I can't. 
I can't. I just feel like they're still too good. But are they? But is that ex, is that center back weakness exposed in the big games against those big teams that maybe is not exposed against some of the weaker teams? Uh to a degree. I don't yeah. know if Laporte really masks all of that. No, but he's a, maybe a better center back than uh, Fernandinho. Oh, essentially so. Yeah, right? they, they could def- they, I, they could I definitely. I don't want to. I don't want to compare the two, but that was the the in on a lesser scale was like when Michael Bradley had to play center back for TFC. He he might be yeah okay in the in the against the weaker MLS team, but then when you when you have to play the big teams that are strong, you really do need a, a true center back. Yeah, understandably so. So I can understand that point. And then I think the Ederson thing is big too. Although even when we look at the last time they went not not the nil nil, but the season before. Remember when they were unbeaten and then they they go down three nil? Like I feel like that. Yeah, lot. yeah, yeah. Well, they went down three nil. He yeah. made a few mistakes. mistakes. Yeah, I don't feel like the Anfield loss really puts them in that hole. But there are a lot of questions to ask about them now when you look really look at it because De Bruyne started the season well, fizzled off a bit. Aguero hasn't really had the best season to date. Yeah, it doesn't score there. I'll tell you that. No. Um, Sterling's been good. Yeah. Bernardo now suspended for a game and got yeah. fined. Yeah. So he misses the Chelsea game? Yes. Yeah. And if, he, if they lose that, that's a whole different other story, right? Yeah. Because now they're in fourth. Yeah, they are. They're in fourth. And uh, that's an interesting story to tell because they've apparently they've lost more games than Wolves. Yeah. So like, how many games have Wolves tied? I know. <laughs> which, is, which is nuts. Yeah. And all the stats that come into play with it. Um, and you just know that the English media is ready they're ready to kill Pep. Oh yeah. If there's if there's a chance, yeah. Given the dominance, if there's a chance, they're they're going for that throw. Yeah. Now it's a, it's a big challenge for him too now, because you have the squad. You know, you probably shouldn't have lost. You didn't play well against Norwich. You pro you didn't play well against Wolves. You shouldn't you shouldn't have lost those games, but you did lose those games. Yeah, and, and here we are. And now you lose this game, and Liverpool have been able to knock off all the games that they have yeah. not playing well. Yeah. And they have that nine point gap. So you look at it now, it's November, and you put Liverpool in this position where, hey, if you don't win it now, yeah, yeah, you put yeah. that on them. The reason why I don't take City out of that also is because if there's any team that could go and win the next well, 15, we've seen it. 15 to 16, 17 straight games, it's them. Yeah, it's them. And, yeah. I, and, and I do not expect Liverpool to go through this entire season without loss. Yeah, I, I just don't. Okay. So. That now it's like the room for error obviously decreases, but now we get to really know what they're about. So, which is why I like the gap. So let me ask you: Is it still a two horse race? Of course, it's still two horse race. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're getting to those two who are trying to really, you know, put our well one our words as a joint together, and then one my word to shits. The yeah. joint one is Chelsea. Okay. The the sole one is Leicester. Yeah. We're to them. Okay. Um, <laughs> Because <laughs> they, oh boy, they are really trying to do that. Um, yeah. Anything else on this game? Um, what did you take of, of the aftermath of this game that spilled into the international duty? <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Yeah. I found it hilarious. But I, I probably, should, <laughs> given my platform, I should not be laughing at the fact that two young English English men are fighting each other. Yeah. The, the, the media would not like that. No, they would not. Yeah. Well, what do you take? Is that just... Is that good? Is that bad? I, I, like, like ooh, what do you take from that? I, I learned a lot about Raheem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I learned a lot about Raheem. Um, I, I think in that situation, that's I, like that happens all the time, though. I just what that you fight at international duty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, there was that happened a lot. Um, recent memory. It happens a lot, but we don't yeah. hear about it. Right. So I just want to know how, why they leaked it. Oh, why? Oh, you think this happens more often than we know about? Yeah. Okay. Hundred uh, percent. No, I, 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 I think you word on it. And it did happen a lot. I think was it Mourinho who leaked it when Spain? Remember they that World Cup year, the yeah. Madrid Barca thing? Yeah. That was personally leaked. Right. But like that happens all the time, man. Okay. And and I, I feel like it's, I just feel like this one Raheem obviously took a bit too far. Obviously, most most of the time that stuff does happen on the training ground. Yes. But this was because it escalated. Yep. From that, yeah. um, he's he's come out to apologize. Yeah, and um, it's and Joe kind of 
didn't really want him to get kicked off. But so. who the hell is Joe? I don't know. Who's Joe? I know Fabs was like really caping for him because he started with the season very well last season before he got hurt. Yeah. But what have you done? And every time he goes out there and plays right back, he gets smoked. smoked. And yeah. he got it's a, he gave it to him. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's kind of like it's who are you? It's and it's weird because England haven't qualified. No, they're going to. Yeah, we, yeah. we assume they are. Yeah, yeah. but it's like you can drop your best player. Yeah, in the, two. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think they're playing anybody strong. To be no, honest. they're playing Montenegro. That would be a touch. Yeah, be a touch. they're playing Montenegro. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So we'll they see how tomorrow? that goes. Yeah. Okay. So they play that. That I'm gonna say. Oh, if you were to lose that, then boy, that the Garrett that just puts you in a position where it's like, well, yeah. was this really necessary? Sorry. Yeah. You know, especially whatever. But that's interesting. I I I kind of like that. It's tr- sort of developing into a rivalry, but I don't think it'll ever be the rivalry that we want it to be, based off the fact that Pep and Klopp have so much respect for each other, yeah. and like they just got some nice guys on their team. Yeah. <laughs> no. Like there's there's no like genuine. Like, no. hate amongst anyone. No, 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 no. no. Oh, which is bad. Yeah. Like, give us something. Give us something to talk L- about. A little, little bit of... You know? Uh, yeah. Like, whatever. I hope they play each other more this season, and I hope they play each other in the Champions League, and be very exciting. I like I like watching them play. Fair enough. And I do think that... I, I, I like the situation that we're in right now. I like, I like the fact that City are down nine points, because now we get to see what they're about. Right. And I like that Liverpool are ahead nine points, because... We really get to see what they're about. Well, yeah. we get, we, we're going to learn a lot about them. Can Klopp handle that pressure? Can Pep rally the troops? Because most of the so, time... So, some interesting storylines coming, uh, uh, coming out of the break. Because most of the time when Pep's teams are ahead, they don't lose that lead. Yeah. Right? Last year, they came from behind and did it. Right. Now they got to do it again. Yeah. And I really want to see if they're able to do that. Because like I, I've, if they go off to win... 13, 14, 15 in a row, hey. then I think they'll win the league. And now they're, because I don't think, I think at some point, I think Brendan, I mean, Brandon um, mentioned it when he was here. It's not that they're going to lose, but they'll tie right, at right, some point. Right. And let them in back in and that let way. Them back in. That's fair. So I want to see if City are capable of doing that. And it's, it's a big strength, man. I, I don't think we um, really highlight enough the significance or the difficulty of three peating. No, it's very difficult. Especially when you have a team pushing you to those limits. Right. Like, I know Ferguson did it at 06 and 07, 06 to 09. 06 to 09. And um, he got pushed by Chelsea two of the years in Liverpool once. Yeah. But uh, no, to this, be, is, this is a good Liverpool to be, team. To, well, and the one thing, that Chelsea team was never properly managed. And that Liverpool team, although they were pushed by Torres, like that United team was very good. Very, yeah. Yeah. It was just a different level. It was level. a different level. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see how this unfolds. 